Hi, my name is Father Lawton Lang. I am the Scout Chaplain for the Diocese of Venice in Florida, and I'm here to talk to you about um, the duty to God and a rational adventure for reverence. The question is, what is your duty to God? Our duty to God is to love and respect Him. And we call that reverence. And why do we love and respect Him? Because He is our Creator. He created you, He created me, He created this world, nature, His trees, everything. He created out of love. And therefore, we respond with love respect to God. Plan, support, or actively participate in a service of worship or reflection to show reverence during the service. Meaning, you can come up with something on your own, or you can actively participate in it. Meaning, you can go to your, house, your own house of worship on Sunday or Saturday and pray. And then, follow the, that's just step A. It could be that simple. However, if you want to do something uh, on your own, to start something and not go to your own, uh, if you want to Google something, then you can know how to Google. And what you can do is you can get a PDF of a basic interfaith worship service. And all you have to do is find one, talk to your parents about it, get some volunteers, have some people pick some stuff, and pray. It's that simple. Or you can just go to church on Sunday. To list one thing that will bring us closer to God and to practice it for one month, to write it down, to do it each day to remind it. There are many things we can do for, to practice reverence with our duty to God. If your faith includes the Ten Commandments, following the Ten Commandments is, is a good one. But that's kind of vague though. So we can talk just a minute about within the commandments, um, what can be, what you can do. One, um, you can go to your house of worship on Sunday or Saturday, whatever your faith preference is. So you can go with your family to worship, do it to God. You can um, maybe do some sort of private prayer every day. Maybe the Our Father, if your faith includes the Our Father. You can listen to your parents and follow their instructions. That would be honoring your father and mother. And that's also connected to duty to God. Or even, you could clean up your room without being asked. I know when I was a kid, I had a messy room. My parents were always on me about that. Oh, so you can always clean your room without being asked. But the point is, there's many things we can do to worship God. Because each person, the goal is each person have an individual relationship with Jesus within your community within your own faith practice. So, I encourage you kids, be creative and come up with something that you can do and yet enjoy and learn about Jesus and the Lord and God and whatever faith practice you have.
Hi, my name's Carl, and I want to take a few minutes and talk to you about earning the religious emblem of your faith. That's all part of the Duty to God program that Scouting has participated in for many years. Uh, the program's operated by Prey Publishing in St. Louis, Missouri, and there's information available at your local Scout shop about what you need to do, uh, about the workbooks and the counselor books that are available for, to help you earn the religious emblem for your faith. Uh, this little flyer shows uh, many of the awards uh, that are available uh, for the many different uh, denominations and religious faiths uh, that are recognized in this program. Uh, some of the material will be available directly from Prey. Some of the material uh, you may have to order from the religious headquarters or the denominational headquarters of your particular uh, faith and practice. Uh, but it is available and every scout has the opportunity to earn that. Uh, Prey publishes the material for the pro that's used primarily by the Protestant denominations. And uh, so there are five books in the series. Uh, the first one uh, for, first and, uh, for kindergarten and first graders is uh, The Jesus and Me. Uh, this is the workbook for that program. Uh, the second program uh, for uh, first through third graders is The God and Me program. The uh, program for fourth through sixth grade is God and Family. Uh, for the middle school, junior high grades of six through eight, we have God and Church. And finally, at the high school level for grades nine through 12, the program is God and Life. And again, there's a student workbook, a counselor's workbook, and there's actually a workbook that's available for the family to use. Uh, that coincides with the program that the youth are working on. Now, in the Protestant program, these are uh, the recognition items that are typically available. Again, you saw some of the medals that were available for all of the faiths and denominations. And uh, so there is a medal that the scout can wear, and there are certainly patches, of course, that go along that the scout can wear as well. Uh, some of the medals uh, can actually come with the denominational uh, emblem or logo on, on the medal uh, as well. Uh, the counselor uh, can be presented uh, a recognition item uh, and the family can also earn uh, a recognition piece as well as part of this program. So uh, it's really good. Uh, we recommend that you check it out. Uh, again, there is material available for all faiths. These happen to be a couple of the booklets for those of the Catholic faith. Um, but again, there's material available for all faiths and denominations. So we hope you'll take time to work with your religious leader uh, and earn the religious emblem for your particular faith.